Dr. Paul here. We've got a throat you've got to see. Knock, knock. Hi. Hi. How you guys doing? So, word has it you've got a horrible sore throat. Mm -hmm. All right. And when did you start feeling sick? About two days ago. Okay. And how did it start? In the middle of the night, I woke up and started throwing up. Oh, bummer. So, two nights ago, you were throwing up. How many times do you think you threw up? Like twice. All right. And was anything else hurting at that point? Did you have a headache, body ache, sore throat? Yeah, headache, everything. Everything hurt? Okay. Um, for the viewers, the reason I'm asking that question is we're in the middle of a big flu epidemic right now here in Portland, Oregon. I've had multiple positive cases. They're all influenza A, and the symptoms we're seeing, it's severe headache, body ache, in fact, you can check out my video. I had it a month and a half ago. It was horrible. Anyway, back to the man in, in the video today. So headaches, body aches, sore throat. No, the sore throat started... Oh, I always had it. But you it did? Got, it yeah. got terrible. Okay. About last night. Last night it really got bad. All right. Any cough? Mm, not, really. not so much. Fever? Like feeling hot or cold? Yep. Say, ah. Uh, Get even closer. Nice, actually just like that, just hold that. Drop the tongue on it. He's dropping it, this is the best we've had. So we can see white caking on the tonsils. And those are like two plus tonsils, as far as the size of them. See what he says, ah, oh, it yeah. kind of lifts yeah, up a little bit. It almost gets worse. You're doing great just like that. I'll move my light to this side just in case. There you I go, can. that's better. In case that's better. Much better for being able to see the caking. And you say, ah. Uh -huh. Ah, uh, uh, sorry, uh, gotcha. See that yellow yucky stuff there? That's stuff from your tonsils. Man, that's great. No gloves. Can you believe it? Big breath. Again. For the viewers, this is your medical quiz. What am I looking for when I do this? I'm gonna have you put your chin right down there. So look all the way down. Excellent, look up at the ceiling. Nice, back down. All right, what am I checking for there? We'll put the answer in the description below. So we've got our strep results. It turns out you don't have strep on the rapid strep. So here's what I was thinking. The, the story you gave of the headaches and the body aches and it sounded like the flu, but your throat looked way worse than any flu I've ever seen. The only things I'm really familiar with that are common that can cause a throat that looked as bad as yours is mono, which is caused by Epstein-Barr virus, or strep. So we probably don't have strep because we got a really good swab and the rapid was completely negative. So I was thinking we should just double check and see if you have mono. I have a rapid mono test called a mono spot, and we can do that on a drop of blood. So we would get a CBC complete blood count for those watching, and a mono spot, and see what we've got. You okay with that? Mm -hmm. Good man, all right. <laughs> Hi guys. One, two, three. Okay, let's fill this one up first. Perfect. We got our labs back. So this was the, we did the finger poke white blood cell count, what's called a CBC complete blood count. Your white blood cell count is high. 16,000 basically, and normal for your age groups kind of 4 to 10 or 4 to 12,000, you're at 16,000. And then we look at, that just means you have an infection, well we knew that. Mm -hmm. Look at your throat and we know you've got an infection. Then we look at the percentage of lymphocytes and the percentage of granulocytes to give us a clue whether it's viral or bacterial. When it's bacterial, the percent granulocytes goes up and you're at 78%, so that's kind of on the high side and your lymphocytes are on the low side at 16%. You'll notice they say normal lymphs is 16 to 51%. So you definitely are shifted towards this is bacterial. We already were wondering about that, so we did the monospot test, and you don't have mono. That is really good news. That is good news. So, doctor, what the heck is going on here? I'll tell you my thoughts. I think you have a bacterial pharyngitis and it's either not group A strep, that's what we test for with the rapid, because you can have other kinds of bacteria cause a pharyngitis, which means a sore throat. So it's either you have a different bacteria causing your sore throat, 
or the rapid test in this case missed it, which is that 5% of the time that that happens. So we're gonna treat you. I mean, that's a horrible throat. I've got enough evidence that it's bacterial. And uh, so I'll just point this out. If I'm right and it's bacterial, in the next 24 hours or so, you're gonna start feeling a lot better. And you know, if you get on this antibiotic and it makes no difference at all, well, maybe I was wrong. It was viral after all. Okay. We didn't swab your nose for the flu just because we're not going to treat you any different. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the headache, body aches sort of sounded like the flu, but there's definitely something going on with the throat. Yep. And that's treatable. Okay? Do you have any advice for your YouTube fans about what it's like <laughs> to live with a horrible throat? Or It's awful. <laughs> it's awful. <laughs> Folks, it is awful. <laughs> I had strep throat when I was in medical school, and I agree with you. It yes. was awful. It, it felt like so you're swallowing awful. razor blades when you're swallowing. Mm -hmm. It is so painful. Um, and uh, Have a dog to comfort you. There That's you go. Advice. You have a dog? Okay. <laughs> have a dog if you, if you can. And um, anyway, I'm Dr. Paul. Thanks for watching.